After spending the past few days testing an image matting tool, I must say the results are nothing short of remarkable. This AI-driven software excels at removing backgrounds from even the most intricate and complex images, handling details like hair, lace, and semi-transparent objects with impressive precision. One of this software's standout features is its ability to refine selections on the subject easily, offering incredible flexibility for users to control their selection. In this video, I will show you how you can use this software to remove backgrounds with advanced AI technology designed to handle intricate details like hair, lace, and semi-transparent objects. So let's jump in. The software I'm talking about is AI Artist Image Matting Software, which offers four specialized AI models, each tailored to different image characteristics to ensure optimal matting for any object. So once you download the software and install it on your PC, AI Artist Image Matting assesses your computer's hardware capabilities to optimize performance. And, and once you open it, you will be faced with a similar interface like this one. Here you can choose which graphics card to use. And below it, you can choose one of the four AI models, each designed for different types of images. And you can upload any image by clicking on the white arrow in the middle. So let's put the software to test with this stunning jellyfish image was its intricate and semi-transparent body this is exactly the kind of challenge that traditional background removal tools struggle with but let's see how ai artists handle it for this test i'm selecting the edge clear retro model this model specializes in handling objects with well-defined edges ensuring sharp and precise cutouts without losing fine details and you can see the result is really good. Even the ultra fine details of the tentacles remain intact with smooth transitions instead of harsh cutouts. We can also use some of the effects tab to edit or add background color to our image. So you can do that through the background tab. Just pick one of the colors available and move the slider to select your color and you can even add a gradient color to the image or you can simply press on the image tab to upload your own background to the image so these are backgrounds that i used before they are available in the history tab or you can press on the browse and add or upload a background from, from your PC. And there is also the black and white tab, which turns your background to a black and white. And the pixelate tab turns your image or your background to a pixel effect. And the mask shows clearly how the cutouts were made. And you can clearly see that the object has, all the details are clearly visible and were not cut out during the the process now let's try another test this time with a completely different subject an image of an elegant woman in a flowing red dress set against a soft misty background unlike the jellyfish image this one has solid structures her dress body and the trees making it a great candidate for a different ai model for this image i'm going to use the solid matte v2 model which is specifically designed to handle solid objects like cloth like cloth accessories and furniture you can already see how efficiently it isolates the subject from the background so if we move the slider you can see the uh, image before and after with the background and without and we can clearly see that the model has done a great job and if we press on the mask we can also see this subject isolated from the background and it gives you exactly how the so let's try the feather effect and play with the feather slider this gives smoothness to the edges in case you would like the edges not to be sharp and the strength as well so if we remove the background and try the feather slider we can see the, how the edges become smoother
Let's change the color and add a gradient color to the background and see how the edges look like when we try to play with the feather. And there is also the blur effect, which gives you the option to blur the subject or the background. There are a couple of blurring options for both the background or the subject, and you can try them on different subjects and it gives you different blurring effects either to your foreground subject or your background subject and the pixel effect as well you can pixelate the image or the subject or the background and you can also black turn your your background to a black and white while applying all these effects now the third test is this boat image that i have created using mid journey and and this time i'm going to use the alpha edge v2 model and press on start and we can see that the model created a great job however there are some transparent areas that were not clearly cut oh. it's they are like semi-transparent areas and this is where the editing tools come comes in handy i'm going to use the dodge parameters brush to remove any transparent areas around the edges so you can play with the threshold effect or the hardness of the brush and you can smoothen any semi-transparent areas between the fur lines like so this clearly gives you an another editing option to remove any semi-transparent areas that were not perfectly cut for some of the images and by the way this alpha edge v2 model is not the perfect for this type of image however just wanted to show you how to use the dodge brush so if we use the edge clear v2 model on the same image it gives you a much better result on the edges and even on the ears and again you can still use the dodge parameter brush to remove any semi-transparent lines that were kept or that were not clearly cut between the four lines like so and if we press on the background effect you can see the image highlighted in pink and again you can play with the feather slider to smoothen the fur of the image or the hairlines if we if you would like to create smoothness around the the edges of the image like so and now we can go back to the original image and for our final test we uh, i have uploaded a couple of other images i have uploaded these skull images mm -hmm. i have created using also my journey and this time i'm going to and this time i'm going to show you the bulk or the patch export make sure to have your settings on png and press on the batch export and this will export all of your uploaded images at once and all of them would be exported and with without the background to the same folder and uh, we had level three selected so each image has three versions of it exported to our folder one with the mask one with the colored background that we have chosen and one completely without a background and as you can see all of the elements have been 
exported at once all of the uploaded images were exported at once and the results are perfect for all of them so after testing all four ai models on different types of images it's clear that ai artists image matting provides a solution for every kind of subject so whether you're working with portraits illustrations semi-transparent materials or, or solid objects choosing the right ai model makes all the difference and with these extra refinement tools you have full control over the final result so what do you think could you use an ai powered background removal for your project let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more ai design tutorials thanks for watching